every time I come in here, I feel like I'm being transported into the 1980s. Just found some classic vintage bongo. These are so cute. They're like a squirt style. I'm pretty much just gonna sweat all of this off anyways. internet friends welcome to the vlog today I found myself in Lake Nona which is a little bit of a rarity for me this is only the second time that I've come out to this area before I'm always so fascinated by certain pockets of uh, like residential type areas because sometimes you hit a residential patch that just feels like you could insert yourself into any part of the country and it all looks the same if you told me the street that i just drove down was in las vegas or in la i would well probably not la but like the suburbs of los angeles i would be like mm -hmm, yep believe it yep i just transported to a completely different city but it's very much the same this is where disney was originally supposed to move their headquarters to and then they bailed and uh, yeah, so many so many cast members were like looking into buying different areas of Lake Nona and then it just completely turned on them. Anyways, we're gonna pop into Goodwill and do a little bit of thrift hunting. And then I thought uh, this weekend might be kind of fun to go over to Epcot. I have an idea, okay? Just hear me out on this. I was considering going to Epcot and showing you around some of the more quiet areas of Epcot. I absolutely love Epcot for its chill vibes. There are so many secret little, I shouldn't even say secret. There are so many patches of Epcot, especially within the World Showcase, that is just so chill. And even on the busiest, most crowded days of the year, you can still find little sections of it that just feel so quiet and welcoming, I guess, in a weird way. So anyways, I think uh, that is on the agenda for this vlog. Let's get some thrifting in and then let's go on a little mini adventure to Epcot. Little OOTD because I forgot to do one this morning. This is probably one of the cooler things I've found in a long time. It's probably like a late 30s, early 40s dress by the stitching. It's just in way too bad a condition. Classic vintage bongos. I'm a little bummed that the tag's so faded, but either way, there it is right there. That's still good. I wouldn't really say this is the best location I've ever been to, but their music is spot on. They just started playing Bangles, Eternal Flame. Like, yes, please. morning happy friday i am getting ready to head out to another goodwill i kind of felt like the one yesterday was just a little bit too much of a bust so we're gonna head out to another one see what i can find i don't know if i'll have enough time but i might try and pop into dillard's clearance center too so yeah we're just gonna see where the day takes us i also just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the comments on my last vlog I just felt like sharing even that like smallest sliver of my day-to-day -day life just felt like uh, I opened up like a floodgate of just people understanding what I was going through and it just meant the world to me. It seems like so many women just share the same hardship with migraines. It seems like a lot of us are dealing with that chronic pain and uh, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. It's also meant the world to me that a lot of you guys are saying that you like the vlogs and I feel like <laughs> I personally feel like I've finally hit a good stride with vlogging. I for, I struggled with it for so long. And I think the biggest struggle that I've had is I am just not the type of person to go into a thrift store and do these like crazy hauls. It means a lot to me to be able to pack in like a week or a couple days into a video and not have it be just me buying stuff. Like 
that is such a toxic rabbit hole to go down. And I think a lot of people struggle with that when they build up their channel and it's just all thrifting content. And then they're suddenly like, I can't sustain this. It just to me is not a sustainable way of building a channel. Um, so it's been really important for me to kind of sprinkle in my day to day life and just not be all about spending money and buying more and more clothes. So anyways, enough with the love fest. Let's get this day rolling. Just so much glittery stuff everywhere. Everything in this store is rhinestones and glitter. It's wild. It's been a while since I've done a vintage hat, but this one, this one's a good one because it's got the, the little elastic band still attached. It's like a good old derby hat. are so cute they're like a skirt style they have the shorts and then it just ties in the front a little classic the limited these are gonna be so cute this is so badass i love it i think it's like a uniform or something but it's leather mm -hmm. These are so cool looking. I think they're like a Y2K label, but look at how it kind of pleats down at the bottom. That is so fun. I'm currently speed getting ready because I just looked at wait times at Epcot and they are super duper low, which is, you know, fun and exciting, but also weird because it's the dead of summer. Also on top of that, there is no rain expected in the forecast. We got a good combination going on right now, you know? Putting on some good old SPF filled makeup. We're gonna head over to Epcot. I also have strategically swapped out my Estee Lauder uh, back to my NARS because the Estee Lauder is like a, what is it? It's moisturizing makeup. And trust me when I say there is enough moisturizer in the air right now as it is. I also have been watching a lot of makeup videos because I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to be doing this, I need to put my best face forward, literally. Makeup is not my, my forte. It is not my area of expertise, okay? Uh, in fact, I have had friends in the past that are makeup artists be like, <clears throat> Laura, let's, let's, uh, let's not do certain things that you do. So anyways, I watched some, you know, I've been watching some makeup tutorials lately. I'm pretty much just gonna sweat all of this off anyways, so I really don't know why I'm putting so much effort into it, but here we are. I think I'm gonna be bold and daring and leave my umbrella in the car because it says it's only a 5% chance of rain.
thought you'd find Chanel in the middle of Disney. And some vintage Louis Vuitton. If you look hard enough for it, you'll find it. Such a good classic spot to kind of watch people. Like do a little bit of people watching. That's the best thing to do at Disney. It can feel like you're all alone in the park sometimes. This one's in Morocco and you can get sangrias back here. It's not always this quiet, but most of the time it is. And it's shaded. We love that. This is one of those areas that they like pipe in the sounds. So it just like keeps the ambiance going no matter where you are. I feel like this one's even more bonus points because it smells like old Disney too. And if you know that smell, you know that smell. literally my favorite part about Epcot. Like leave it to me to find exactly where the birds hang out and that's where that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be hanging out with the birds. As long as this guy doesn't poop on me. Very last thing we're gonna go do is check in on our friend. And if anybody's ever curious, I don't actually go on the ride. Yeah. Um, when I go see Prince Charming, I go straight in towards the back entrance and skips the skips the ride and everything. Every time I come in here, I feel like I'm being transported into the 1980s. say that was that was pretty much mission accomplished though got some solid Disney vibes in whenever I'm out thrifting I always 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 am looking for something with an interesting shape and both of these pieces had such an interesting shape um, the balloon details in both of them and then the like straightening details is really what gets me. It's so interesting though too that this is most likely a 2000s label. I would see this and think it was like a, I don't know, 40s or 50s maybe even. Although 40s or 50s that wouldn't be a detail that would be on jeans, <laughs> but still it just... Regardless, it's so interesting. And then this is a Banana Republic blouse that I just, I still can't get over the sleeves. This is the limited skirt. And I really wish I had this for the 90s video that I filmed a while back. This would have been, this would have been perfect because it is quintessential 90s. It's a skirt, 
but they're shorts. <laughs> Could you imagine this with like a like a leather bustier top? That would be that that would be the ultimate look. I wish I had one right now, but I don't. Like it buckles right there, and then I just like the the minimal amount of pleating too. I think these are the only thing that will make this work. I really was not sure if I was gonna keep these for myself or not. So this is from the brand Unique Vintage. And I've thrifted Unique Vintage a couple times on my channel before. And you know, it's it's a reproduction line, so it's not the real deal. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily an advocate for Unique Vintage, but I do understand the concept of it. And I understand why um, it's so important sometimes to keep these types of garments in production because, man, they're good. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this week's vlog. Uh, I'm gonna close out here and say thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all the little adventures that we went on this week. This was a jam-packed week, actually, now that I look back on it and think of all the stuff that I'm gonna be editing, I'm like, wow, we did a lot. We did a lot this week. I'm gonna work on getting all the stuff that I showed listed, or at least the stuff that I decide not to keep. I'm for sure keeping the unique vintage and the Banana Republic top. Thanks so much for tagging along with me this week. If you're new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.